students welcome back now we are going to see arterial supply of the lungs so the bronchial arteries supply nutrition to the bronchial tree so bronchial tree and the lung pulmonary tissue normally we are having um, two kinds of uh, supply here one is the pulmonary circulation as well as the bronchial circulation so this pulmonary circulation is mainly uh, used or mainly the main function of that pulmonary circulation is only takes part in the gaseous exchanges and um, at the termination of this bronchial artery it will anastomosis with the pulmonary artery so that is one of the point so now coming to the bronchial arteries so these are small arteries that vary in number size and origin on the right side you can see only this one here on the right side it is having only one bronchial artery okay and which arises from the third posterior intercostal artery or from the upper left bronchial artery so it may arise from the third posterior intercostal artery so this third posterior intercostal artery also arising from the descending aorta as you people know that okay and coming to this left side coming on to the left side on the left side there are two bronchial arteries you can see here this one is one superior artery and one is inferior artery below that one okay these two are also arising from the descending thoracic aorta the upper one is opposite to t5 vertebra and the lower is just below the left bronchus so the lower one is present left below the left bronchus okay these are the arteries which supply the bronchial tree as well as the pulmonary tissue and the deoxygenated blood is brought to the lungs by the pulmonary arteries and oxygenated blood is returned to the heart by the pulmonary veins okay there are pre capillary anastomosis between bronchial and pulmonary arteries these connections enlarge when any one of them is obstructed or diseases i have told that up to the terminal so this bronchial artery will divides along it along its segments bronchial segments till up to them so that means uh, this one is the primary artery bronchial artery and then secondary divisions and then it goes to tertiary divisions that is the segmental this segmental for again divided into terminal bronchioles and then terminal bronchioles finally it, it end up with the respiratory bronchioles that respiratory bronchiole and it is having some microscopic structures uh, that thing we have seen in the pulmonary unit so up to the respiratory bronchiole up to the respiratory bronchiole this bronchial artery is also divided at the stage of this um, term a respiratory bronchiole this will anastomosis so that means the end part of this bronchial artery anastomosis with the pulmonary arteries bronchial artery anastomosis with the pulmonary arteries sometimes these connections may enlarge when any one of the pulmonary artery or the bronchial artery or obstructed due to disease this is about the arterial supply of the lungs okay now coming to the venous drainage of the lung so this venous drainage of the lungs uh, 
is that the blood the venous blood from the first one and two divisions of the bronchi from the first and second divisions of the bronchi is carried by bronchial veins so usually there are two bronchial veins on each side there are two bronchial veins on each side the right bronchial veins the right side bronchial veins drains into azygos vein whereas the left side bronchial veins drain into either left superior intercostal vein or into the hemi azygos vein so the greater part of the venous blood from the lungs is drained by the pulmonary veins okay so normally the arterial supply to the lungs is mainly done by bronchial arteries but as the venous drainage is mainly done by the pulmonary veins in the case of venous drainage the arterial supply bronchial arteries will have major uh, supply to the bronchial tree and the lungs okay so this is about the blood supply of the lungs thank you